Hello everybody! This is such a late Friday Reads video, it's actually Saturday morning. That's because on Friday I came home, I was tired, I took Benadryl for my allergies, and then I fell asleep before 8.30. Uh, then I woke up at 6.30 this morning and was like, I'm awake, let's get up and do things! So it is very early on Saturday morning and I cannot believe I'm actually functioning before 10 a.m. But anyway, um, it is the weekend, so let's do a really quick run-through of what I am currently reading and then do my TBR jar picks for March because, oh my god, it is March already! All right, so I am currently listening to the audiobook of Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. I've been really excited about getting back to this. I did try to read it in print about a year ago, I think, and I just ran out of time with the library book. So I've bought the audiobook and I'm listening to it at my leisure. And it is a really lovely book, a very wise book, and I, I love um, Robin Wall Kimmerer's narration. She has a very quiet, calming voice, and it's what I want to listen to right now. So I'm not very far into this. I'm about an hour into the audiobook, I think, and it will be what I listen to while I am spinning yarn in March, I think. Um, this has been my... Um, I'm spinning yarn for a, a sweater project for a knit-along, and that's what I'm really excited about right now. Anyway, back to the books. Um, then I am also reading two short physical books. I have started Trouble with Lichen by John Wyndham. I am more than halfway through this, so I should probably finish it this weekend. And I'm enjoying this, It like in the sense that I, I like Wyndham's style, and I think he writes really interesting female characters, and this is front and center women in this story. I have thoughts on the scientific research ethics and stuff in this book. Like, holy crap! <laughs> you don't just give mysterious substances to your family members to find out what it's going to do to their lifespan. Oh, Anyway, um, so I'm enjoying this book quite a bit, but I have thoughts. And no answers, just thoughts. Um, and then the less complicated read I have is The Spirit Ring by Lois McMaster Bujol. This is one of my TBR jar picks from February that I have not finished. I'm literally 38 pages into it. It's just been a slow start for me. Um, the, the book is fine, but it's not my favorite thing by Bujold, and I've been more interested in reading some other things. So I'm still planning on finishing it, but it hasn't been high priority. This seems to be set in like a slightly alternate timeline version of like Renaissance Italy where magic is a thing. And it follows a young woman whose father is like um, a metal worker, a metalsmith who imbues his work with magic, and she's learning that from him but he's also about to get an apprentice, this young man from Switzerland or something. Um, I don't really know where it's headed, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna involve a ring. <laughs> I'll get to that eventually. Um, so that is everything that I have really dug into right now. Let's pick some things from the TBR jars for what I should try to read in March as well. So I have two TBR jars. One is for digital books, my ebooks and my audiobooks, and the other is for physical books. And I don't have them labeled, so we're gonna find out which is which here in a second. Um, not everything is in these jars, by the way. I did this, I made all these little slips of paper back right after Christmas, and I've certainly acquired books since then. Um, okay, so this is Physical Books, and this one is The Shockwave Writer by John Brunner, which is an SF masterwork, and one that I have been very interested in reading because I think it was a precursor to the cyberpunk genre, which I've had my ups and downs with, more downs than ups, but I, I'm interested in reading that one. Now for what's probably going to be an ebook. <clears throat> A Calculated Life by Anne Charnock, I believe. I'm pretty sure this is a novella, so it might be pretty short. Um, I read one other thing by Anne Charnock. Um, something about dreams. It was one of the Clark Award winners, and I thought it was okay. It was like a multi-generational story um, about something that affected um, a family. And yeah, I thought it was all right, but I 
went through a phase where I was really interested in buying um, ebooks by like British authors and Clark Award winners and so I had multiple things by Anne Charnock. So okay, The Shockwave Writer and A Calculated Life. Both of those are pretty short so I have a chance of actually reading them in March. We will see though. And that is pretty much it for me on the reading front. Um, I keep trying to have more of a regular schedule around here and life gets in my way. Um, I really don't want to go into the details of it right now, but let's just say I am currently having a bit of a flare up of a very painful medical condition that does not yet have a diagnosis. It is now chronic because I've been dealing with it for about 18 months and it's gotten very bad again. And it's kind of difficult to just go about daily life and enjoy it when you're in pain 24 seven. So. Yay! Um, keep your fingers and your toes crossed that I get some actual diagnostic information <laughs> from my doctor. Uh, otherwise, I'm just hanging out trying to get through my day. Uh, but that has just kept me from really digging in and doing a lot of stuff. And I apologize for not like replying to comments in a timely fashion and not keeping up with my video schedule. I want to. I just I'm not in the mood most of the time. Anyway, this too shall pass, I am sure. Um, but you know, my weekend is actually looking up aside from fun things to read and fun things to do involving my spinning wheel. I'm actually going on a bit of an excursion this weekend, doing a little bit of a shopping trip. I cannot wait to get out of town. And I'm really looking forward to that. And just in general, hanging out and enjoying the warmer weather. It's gonna get cold again, but I can enjoy it this weekend. <laughs> Anyway, that is a little update from Rachel Land. I hope you guys are all doing well and reading fun things, and I will talk to you again soon. And until then, bye.